Hello everyone, this is Robin Hattersley from Campus Safety Magazine. I have with me today Chuck Davis. He is the Director of Cybersecurity at Hike Vision. He is also the Adjunct Professor at the University of Denver and he covers cybersecurity. So Chuck, my first question for you is, why is maintaining cybersecurity in a video surveillance system so important? Well, video surveillance systems, just like uh, all systems that are part of the Internet of Things, are actually computers. So we, we tend to forget that all of these devices that we're connecting to IP networks and they're adding all of this great functionality to allow us to remotely monitor or control them are actually computers. They have operating systems and they will have vulnerabilities. And so when, if we don't take due diligence, our proper due diligence and, and protect those things and really uh, uh, apply cybersecurity best practices, we put them at risk of being attacked and could be the, the way that a campus or a, a, an organization is attacked uh, you know, through the internet. So if a security camera or some other component of a video surveillance system is hacked, what can happen after that? What are some of the vulnerabilities? I mean, we've heard about ransomware, we've heard about malware. What's, what's going on with that? How does, does that affect a, a hospital, school, or university? Well, it can be a pivot point. So the way that attackers typically work is they try to get, uh, gain access internally to at least one device. A lot of times that comes with malware, uh, using phishing attacks, which could be a, an email with an attachment or an instant message or a text message, just trying to get somebody to click on a link or open the wrong file to infect a system. As soon as that system's infected, it can reach out to the internet to the bad guys and give them access back into that network. Firewalls and all of those security protections aren't going to stop it because that infected device reached out to the bad guy. Now the bad guy is inside. Whether it's a video surveillance equipment or any other computer, it could be a pivot point for that uh, bad actor to go and try to attack other systems, install things like ransomware like you mentioned, or even uh, go exfiltrate uh, uh, sensitive data. Like what happened in Target a few years ago with the uh, HVAC system, correct? Correct. There's been a number of, of situations over the uh, over the past years where you know the the main systems of the organization or the company were secured, but some of these peripheral systems weren't treated as production enterprise uh, systems, and that's where you run into some trouble. So when we're talking about vulnerable systems, we're talking about heating and ventilation and air conditioning systems, lighting. Uh, different types of things that you might not think would be connected to the internet, right? Sure, they all fall under the internet of things or IOT devices. And so now we've got this great internet and we've got amazing capacity to remotely connect and control these systems, but we have to get in the mindset of understanding that this is part of our enterprise infrastructure. This is part of our IT systems. So your cybersecurity teams at your universities or your organizations should be monitoring traffic, looking for intrusions or, or uh, hacking or malicious and suspicious activity in those networks as well as the networks that have laptops, desktops, and servers.